How's it going everyone? Is your S Pen not writing on some parts of the screen or is it not connecting to your Galaxy Ultra or perhaps even your tablet? I'm going to show you how to take care of that in this video. As always for your convenience, anything you see in the video, the case, the pop socket or the pen, I'm going to link them down below. Let's get started. The first issue is not being to write everywhere on the screen. We're going to start by taking our pen out. It's going to generate a note and you can always click this if you have that feature as well. I'm going to write with regular pressure, not too hard, just normal. And then when I get to this middle area of the screen, see how it starts skipping? I'm trying to write happy right there. And then I'm gonna to come to the bottom and it's gonna continue writing. The reason why it's not writing in this middle area is because I have a magnetic pop socket on the phone here. I really love the pop socket, by the way, right? Very convenient, and when I record, I take this off so I can put this on my tripod. Also, when I have this phone in my motorcycle jacket, I could just take the pop socket off so it makes the phone slimmer. What's happening here, these magnets are facing upwards and it's not letting me write in that center part of the screen there, as you can see, which are the magnets here. This case, by the way, I really love it. I'm gonna link it down below. This is an S22 Ultra, so just keep in mind, this audio hole is gonna be off-centered. I drilled it myself, so that way the microphone is exposed there. But if you have the S23 Ultra or 24, this will fit. And again, the magnetic pop socket's really useful because it doesn't have glue or anything and you could always take it off. I have this and the S Pen linked down below in case you lost it. This is a second S Pen that I have aftermarket, so a lot of the air features, the screenshot Bluetooth, this doesn't work because this one's like $15. If you want the OEM one that actually works with all the features, I have it here, link down below. So looking there, when I take the pop socket off, I'm gonna be able to write in the middle. Let me just replace this. You can see it's fully responsive on the screen. I am writing pretty quick, so it's a little messy, but it's not lagging, it's not skipping. So if you're having issues writing, it's skipping, it's probably because you have some sort of magnetic item on the back there. I myself am just gonna deal with it because I really like the pop socket, convenient, you can take it off whenever. So just know that if you're trying to write, you should remove this if you have some sort of magnetic item on the back. The next issue we may have is our S Pen is not connecting, so we can eject it here. You don't need to, but it's gonna pop up with this little button. If I tap that button there, I'm gonna to go to the settings here. And then we have a bunch of features for the S Pen. Now, another way to get to this S Pen screen, we're going to, from the home screen, open up our settings, then scroll down to advanced features. It's going to be this one here. And then we're going to select on S Pen there. And then here is where you're gonna have notifications, everything revolving your S Pen. So you see S Pen removed there, air actions, commands. On the top right, these triple dots, we can do reset S Pen, and that's gonna allow us to perhaps get a connection with this pen here. We can also scan for a pen if we're pairing a new one, for example, but this is where we're gonna have a lot of those features there. So for example, I'm gonna reset the pen in this case. I don't need to, but I'm just gonna show you guys what it looks like. Insert your pen. and then it's gonna let you know it might take a while there. The next issue, our pen may be disconnected. What we're gonna see there, we can see the pen with the dash through it. Let's unlock the phone here. And we're gonna see it up top here as well. Swiping down, S Pen disconnected, tap here to connect it. It's gonna let me know insert pen to connect it. And then it's gonna let you know it's gonna take a while. For the sake of the video, I'm gonna let it fast forward, but it should pick up the pen. And this pen that I put in is the OEM Samsung pen. This little button here, if you have the OEM version, lets you take pictures. So if you have your phone, you put it all the way across the room and you wanna take a family picture, you can press this button here to do that. So you can see here it's now connected and it's charging there 10%. This can be another reason why your pen is disconnected. Perhaps you put it back in, but you left it sticking out a little bit or it just didn't enter correctly and it slowly lost charge. So make sure it's charging there and it's gonna be connected to your phone.
With that said, hope this video was useful. Have a great day. Have a great evening. Striker out.